In this video tutorial, I'll be going over the plan view in Adobe Muse. So here we are in the plan view, and we know we're in the plan view because we've clicked on plan, and this is the view here. So the way the plan view works, this is where you'll, you'll have a layout for all the pages of your site, and each square here represents a page in Adobe Muse. So if I double click on this page, it'll actually bring me to the design view of Adobe Muse. So I'll click on plan again, and now I'm in the plan view of Adobe Muse. So the way the plan view works is that you can have sibling pages and you can have child pages. To create a sibling page, you simply hover over uh, this the first page or any page, and you click the plus symbol here, and it'll create a sibling page. A sibling page is next to the page, and a child page would be underneath the page. So if I click on this arrow underneath this page, it creates a child page. And we know that they're sibling and child pages because if you right click, you can create a new child page and it'll put it underneath, or you can right click and create a new sibling page and it'll put it to the right of the page. So here you can have kind of sub pages of pages and really design your website. So I can have this as a main page and this main page has two kind of child pages here um, that pertain to this page. So as you can see, it's a great way to create the layout for your website and see how many pages you have in your website and how they all connect. Very good. You can also duplicate a page. If you right click on any of these pages, you can click on duplicate page and it'll duplicate the content that's in this page and just give it a different name. You can name all of these pages simply by double clicking underneath and calling it whatever you'd like. Now this does correspond to your URL in your Adobe Muse website, so you wanna make sure that you label these correctly as they will show in the URL when you publish your website. So when you go to www.letssaymine.museforyoushop.com and I name, name this page page three, it would be www.museforyoushop.com slash page three dot html so you want to make sure that you label these correctly so that the search engines and anyone going to your site and and if they see the url it will it will make sense for that page very well and we can also delete a page if i just click delete page right clicking and delete and i can right click i can rename page and we just did that you can do that by right clicking and rename or you can double click and you can right click and you can open the page and that'll bring you to the design view of adobe muse very well. And you can also choose whether you want to export a page for the final website or not simply by right clicking and where it says export page, you click here and it'll turn a darker color. And now you, you'll know that this page will not be exported in the final website. It'll be in the plan view, but it will not be exported. So you can also change the size of your thumbnails here. And if you have a really large website, this can be very useful. So you can see the whole layout of your website a little bit better. And you can choose um, your thumbnails, or excuse me, yeah, you can choose the thumbnail here and you can select the master badge. Okay, so you see the master badge appears right below it. It says A master. And if I uncheck it, that doesn't show. So the way in the plan view, the way the master page works is that you have your masters down here and anything you add to a master page will be added to the rest of the pages in your website. So now all these pages will have this red box on it, on it. So if I click thumbnail, it'll give me a preview of the website. So that's what the thumbnail option does. So if I check it now, all these pages have a red box in them. Uh, a master page works really well with menus because if you want to put a menu on all your pages, you can put the menu in the master page and all the menus will have it. And if you want to make an edit to the menu, you don't have to edit multiple pages. You can just edit the master page and you can have multiple master pages simply by clicking to the right of this first A master and you can have B master, C master, D master, E master, and you can also rename them to anything you'd like. And then you can assign a master to the pages simply by right clicking and where it says master is here, you can select a different master page here in your master section. Very good. So that's it for the plan view. You can also check out the plan view for tablet, phone, for tablet and phone. And it's the it's very similar as the desktop or it's the exact same for the desktop. It's just now you're working with tablet and phone. 
Okay, so that's it for the plan view in Adobe Muse, and I'll see you in the next video tutorial.